Greetings to Norway. This is Cor Skeet from HBO's The Rehearsal. And I consider this an official public service announcement to Pollyanna and her class. The subject in question I'm going to dissect somewhat is the concept of truth. A lot of people tell you when you're very young that you want to understand how truth is very important because they themselves don't not lie. And we tend to believe that. But maybe someone who has a situation where they were flawed enough to not only have lied, but be willing to expose their revealing of the truth in front of an audience of millions on a prestigious project on a cable network. And perhaps a person like me may be the person who could actually discuss truth and maybe at a different level than someone who pretends they don't lie. Because I have to tell you, George Washington told everybody that he didn't tell a lie. And believe it or not, that may have been a lie. You see, starting from our earliest formative years, we are told to always tell the truth by um, adults for usually two reasons. Adults that we usually fear and adults that we usually admire. But there's a basic truth about telling the truth. That our parents, our guardians, and our caretakers, and yes, even our teachers, the truth at times is far more complex much more complicated, even with the best intentions, it could even be messy. Now, some people are guided by the truth through their creator. And I have a creator above, and that's my personal belief, and that's just me. And during the time I did my particular confession to my friend on television, then I developed a new creator, and it happened to be a creator, and was standing by me with a laptop attached to himself with instructional guides. And as you realize, that's not totally a true level to confess or bear your soul. But what made the conversation more difficult was not only me holding back so long, but I was also an element of recognizing that Truth could develop into building stronger relationships and inspires loyalty. But it can, those two elements work not only through the friendship you're developing with other people and the loyalty of the other people, but you must have a strong relationship within yourself and a way for you to inspire loyalty within yourself. Now, the great Thomas Jefferson once said, Honesty is the first chapter in the Book of Freedom. What wasn't explored on the show, there was an assumption that I may have had an inferiority complex, and maybe that was the reason why I chose not to confess this educational issue with my friends, particularly Trisha. But the truth is, what wasn't explored was, it wasn't the circumstances that my friends who I spent time with in an academic atmosphere, such as trivia, that I had a fear that they were far more smart than I was. And that wasn't the case, particularly in the subjects we play trivia with. I felt just as smart as they. My deeper issue was that I worked in a series of colleges and universities over the years before I got my bachelor's degree. And instead of just doing basic stuff in a college, my skill set prior to the times I worked in the college was strong enough that the schools would give me apparently options to work as a test instructor, a tutor, and other instructional positions. Sometimes I even was able to instruct classes without necessarily being a professional teacher, but I was quite good at what I did in the subjects particularly creative writing and remedial math. And of course you need a degree for that. With, I don't want to discourage you from not having a degree. I, the, the issue of me holding back my secret for my friends, particularly Trisha, was based upon 
that I have been working in colleges so long. The people in my team, none of them went to, they all went to college, they graduated at the typical age of 22. And they, none of them worked in any educational institutions like I did. So the assumption on their end was, if I'm working in colleges and universities, then how, then I would at least have a bachelor's or a master's. So they accepted that my work for what it was until I actually came close to graduating for my bachelor's and then things started coming up. Well, why or how were you able to work in these colleges and universities in, in some kind of instructional capacity if you didn't have a degree? So what I was avoiding more was not the inferiority of my intelligence and my friends. What I was dealing with was I was trying to avoid the conversation about me working in colleges and not having a degree at all. And why would my supervisors allow that? But it was an arrangement that worked for me, my supervisors, and the students. And as a result, when I did graduate with my bachelor's degree, I was far more experienced than most of the candidates. And the beauty part about my work at this point is I don't have to go through a training program or a probationary period because my reputation spoke for itself. So this is part of the reason why truth has a point of view that fits in not in every cookie cutter situation. But confessing this truth still eased some of my burdens. It cleansed my soul and it strengthened my friendships. And the idea behind that is it's paramount to taking a boulder off your chest to try to move on further in my life. So please take a lesson from that situation. And I must end this from a quote from noted author Oscar Wilde. The truth is rarely pure and never simple. So my best to you, Pollyanna, your students, thank you for being fans of the rehearsal and my part in it. I'm hoping that could give some inspiration toward what you may view in the future. And I'm happy that it's the first time I found out that this show was famous outside the United States. So filming in New York was one experience, but hearing it from people in a whole different country, it's quite fascinating to me. So I'm happy to be the master confessor of reality television, at least in 2022. So my best wishes to all of you, to Pollyanna, your class. This is Horse Geek from HBO's The Rehearsal, signing off.